So, another Boogie Played Himself video. Yes, we're going there, fellas. Um, it's just remarkable how many times this guy can still fuck up and people still watch him. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I mean, I think people covered it pretty well, but really, I just want to say this. Like, to all the people who still watch Boogie, don't. Just stop giving him attention. Um, he obviously doesn't care anymore. I personally think that divorce, like, really broke him hard. Um, it, like, destroyed his soul, dude. <laughs> like, seriously. And I really doubt he even loves his girlfriend that much. He's probably just, you know, in it for the, the sex more than anything. Um, she's basically his little play toy. And he dreams about having Desi back, you know, because he was a different person back when he was uh, married to her, bro. Like, he changed. He was not always like this, dude. I, I follow this guy since the beginning. And mind you, he was never perfect. But for people who say that, like, you know, he's always been this terrible guy, I don't really think so. I think he just let a woman break him. Unfortunately, he just kind of stole his soul. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't really have much else to say. This isn't going to be a long video, but... Um, this will probably be the, the nail in the coffin for Mr. Buggy, I think anyways, uh, with a scam token. And listen, man, you know, I can respect the hustle, okay? Uh, wanting to, you know, uh, give crypto a try and all that, but like, dude, <laughs> you shouldn't have let your broke audience invest in something that wasn't going to benefit them at all. You should have let them know, like, okay, this is just for the rich guys. You know, this is just for people who have money to burn. But, of course, he didn't do that. And now he's trying to cover his ass, saying, like, well, you know, you shouldn't have done it. Blah, blah, blah. He, he's putting his own fans under the bus in typical boogie fashion. It, it's just, my God, bro. Why did you let that woman break you so hard, dude? <laughs> you know what I mean? She wasn't even that fucking pretty. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. But if you saw a picture of her, you, you would really wonder why a man could, could get broken that badly. I'm sorry, dude. I'm just being real. She kind of had that inbred swag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know I'm one to talk, but... I don't claim to be, you know, fucking 10, though. Like, I'm sure she probably did. Um, so, yeah, dude. I, um... I don't really know what's going to happen to Boogie. Um... I hope that he can get himself some genuine help, you know. Uh, really, though, he just needs to help himself. He needs to stop taking advantage of his audience. And uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Maybe get a real job. I don't, I don't know. I hate saying that. I, I sound like such a boomer saying that. But, like, the YouTube thing obviously is not working out for him anymore. What he really needs to do is, you know, be a shitlord again. Shitlord Boogie was great, bro. You know, Francis and all that crap. Like, the real Francis. The unfiltered Francis. That's what he needs to do. I would say he just needs to start over on another site like Rumble. You know, that way he won't get censored and he won't get demonetized. That would be the perfect thing for him, bro. That's what Leafy did. But, unfortunately, Leafy disappeared again. I don't know what happened to that little fuck. But I think that was just his own choice. I don't really know. Someone tell me. I'm genuinely curious about Leafy. Maybe he just doesn't care anymore. I don't, I don't, he probably got bored of it, if we're being real. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Leafy was getting a decent amount of views on Rumble. So I think Boogie could too. And one day, dude, like when Rumble gets its shit together, I will probably just permanently move there as well. Um, right now you can't upload gameplay, uh, it's still not completely free speech over there. I've been banned like twice on Rumble now, so yeah, it still kind of sucks, but <clears throat> I'm just on here and bit shoot, and <laughs> bit shoot sucks. I, I'm, I'm not going to devote all my time to bit shoot. That, that fucking site is irrelevant as far as I'm concerned, it's just yesterday's news. Um... 
I think Rumble is the future, I do. Uh, maybe there will be new sites that spawn, but yeah, for right now, man, um, I would not put my chips in anything else, and I think Boogie just needs to quit YouTube, you know. Um, some of you guys may be thinking, like, well, he's got 4 million subs. Dude, they're, they're all dead accounts. Like, <laughs> none of those are active. He literally has, like, an eighth of his subs that are actually active. Um, it's just bragging rights for him at this point. You know, it's a big number to show up, but it doesn't mean anything. Uh, a lot of people left him, dude. A lot of people ditched his ass. And, uh, yeah, he's just a, uh, you know, <laughs> he's like a YouTube relic at this point. Just a, just a fucking corpse, you know what I mean? A uh, really fat corpse. But, <clears throat> I do wish the guy well. I do not wish ill on this guy. But you know, his his YouTube, there's there's no coming back from this at this point. And I didn't think there was anyway, but he just, he dug his grave even deeper by doing this dumb shit. Which will affect him in his next channel. So, you played yourself, dude. You know, uh, you let some stupid girl break you to the point to where it turned you into a fucking Andrew Tate. <laughs> you know what I mean? His fucking skid video with his little sausage. So stupid, bro. Like, come on, dude. It wasn't even funny. It was just cringe. Uh, he was actually funny when he was with Desi, dude. When they did those skits together, he was funny. He was legit entertaining. He's not anymore. His soul is just gone. And it's honestly really depressing to see because he was one of my favorite YouTubers. Like, at one point, I actually adored this guy. <laughs> I did. I watched every single one of his videos. I was a total fanboy. I'll be the first to admit it. I, I like seeing the fat man fall down. Okay. Sorry if that makes me, you know, uh, very low IQ or whatever, but you guys already knew I was anyway, so <laughs> there's no uh, there's no hiding that. But um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much what I got. I'm not gonna sit here and rant ten more minutes about some irrelevant fat guy. Um, he just he completely fucked himself over, dude. And, uh, yeah, he's been having some Twitter rage. If you want to see that, check his Twitter, bro. Uh, he is just, he's going kind of mental, dude. And I, I hope that he doesn't self-delete over this. He could possibly. Um, <clears throat> and so I will be praying for the guy. Because I know he's mentally unstable and, you know, deals with depression and things like that. But... It's sometimes really hard to feel sorry for the guy, though, when he does stupid shit like this. Like, he should know better by now. He's 50. <laughs> He's literally the age of a grandpa now. He's like angry grandpa. You know what I mean? Um, hopefully he doesn't follow an angry grandpa's fate. You know what I mean? And keel over. But, <clears throat> yeah, that's another thing, too, dude. He just needs to work on bettering himself physically and mentally going to the gym, uh, maybe seeing an actual therapist and not a stupid purple hair liberal, you know, like his last therapist obviously was. Um, maybe just, I don't know, dude. Um, I, I wonder about his girlfriend. I wonder if she's just using him for clout. But I think maybe she has daddy issues. I think that's really what it is. I think that she sees him as a father that she never had, maybe. Uh, he got lucky there, bro. <laughs> like, you got really lucky there, Buggy. Uh, finding a girl like that, you know, who, who wanted that the father figure kind of thing. Uh, I would imagine that's the only reason why he pulled a girl off at that age. Uh, no girl in her 20s would ever want to date someone like Boogie. I mean, let's just be real, bro. Is she even 20 yet? I don't know. Maybe she's like 19. I'm not sure, but I think she's like 20 maybe. Um, <laughs> congratulations, you know. I, I'm not going to be jealous. I'm not a, you know, a hateful incel. I'm not a black pillar. I think it's great that he found love, but I just don't think it's genuine love. Like I said, I, I think he really is still stuck on Desi. I do. Um, if you guys didn't know this, he actually continued to wear his engagement ring even after they were divorced. Like, that's just, oof. That is truly sad. I, I've never heard such a sad thing in my life, honestly. I mean, it was a cool ring, mind you, you know what I'm saying? That, that black ring that he used to wear. 
but yeah, that that was his uh, his marriage ring, and he continued to wear it even after. So I mean, that if that doesn't tell you something is off, then I don't know what to say, bro. Obviously, he never got over her. So um, <clears throat> I don't really know why she left him, though. I do wonder about that because she left him at a time when he was actually starting to better himself. Uh, I don't exactly remember what year this was, maybe like 2016, 2015, uh, yeah, I don't fucking remember, but that's when he got the weight loss surgery is when she left him, so it's like, hmm, maybe she was just using him for clout, you know, maybe she was afraid if he wasn't fat anymore, she wouldn't be getting that sweet YouTube revenue. It really makes you wonder. <laughs> and then there was Lucy Fox, you guys remember Lucy Fox? That porn star that actually dated him for a little while. She was kind of hot, dude. I'm not going to lie, bro. She was actually pretty cute. So I'm... Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm impressed he pulled that off as well, dude. Like, because he was, what, in his late 40s when they were dating? And she looks like she's in her 20s. Uh, but I will say, though, she did seem kind of sketchy. Like, one of those girls who would cancel someone if you did something to piss her off. So... In that case, I actually don't think it was his fault. I think that Lucy chick was kind of loopy. Um, I could be wrong about that, but... I mean, let's just be honest, dude. Like, You can't really expect a high-quality woman that's an adult entertainer. Like, that's just... The chances of that happening are very, very rare. That they would be loyal and that they would be genuine with you. Um, sorry to be judgmental or whatever, but like, yeah, that just, I don't see that working out too well, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but yeah, Lucy Fox was her name. Look her up, bro. I'm telling you guys, they were actually dating. And, um, <laughs> he, he managed to somehow fuck that up, but maybe it wasn't his fault, though. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know, though, bro. Like, I, I really don't know. Maybe that was on him because he probably was just still so heartbroken by Desi that he was just a big man-child and hard to deal with. I think maybe that is possible, so um, I don't really know. But he actually found her on a uh, Sugar Daddy website, if I remember correctly. Uh, they were in like one or two skits together. She had that long black hair. Uh, if you guys remember that, yeah, that was... <laughs> It's very strange. Uh, not everyone knows about that. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I thought it was kind of funny that he had, he actually was on a sugar daddy website. Like, what in the actual fuck, buggy? Like, good lord, bro. I mean, he must have been making some serious coin. You know what I mean? I guess you can't hate him that on. Uh, <clears throat> I guess you can't hate on that, but. Uh, just, just imagine buggy on one of those sites, bro. Like his fucking profile. I wish I could see that, dude. Uh, that must have been a sight, but anyways guys, that's what I got for you on this video. Thanks for watching. Peace